Okay, so I spend uh, 10 minutes because uh, the computer's not working. Uh, we'll do a small Q&A. And uh, I know that some of you English <coughs> media is the best answer. But I ask you, if you need some help with somebody that speaks English well, ask one of your friends. But I ask you some, uh, some questions for you. It's your second year in university now. When you graduate, when you finish, how many of you know what you want to do? Okay, what would you like to do? Master in principle, if it's possible. And which job would you like to do afterwards? I don't know. You don't know, okay. How many of you know what job you want to do? Okay, how many have an idea which sector you want to be in? All right, you have an idea for the sector. How many of you have done some work in that sector? Okay, so I take it, what, what, what did you do? Uh, in the IT one, I did some jobs with some companies uh, for developing some software. You developed some software, okay. What, what kind of work experience did you do? Web publication. Okay, for those of you who did no work at all, I'll tell you the true story. It is like this. When you leave university, it's not just a hundred people in this room. There will be another hundred persons in the next university in the next town, in Emilia Romagna. In maybe two universities in Milan. Then you will have another hundred universities in Italy. Then another hundred universities in France. A hundred in Germany. 250 in the UK, 700 in the USA. And you think that just because you came to university, you are clever, <coughs> you get a good job? Don't fool yourselves with your time. I said something here today that maybe you can help yourself with to pass the exam. But this is not the idea for your success. Your success lies in making yourself unique. Make yourself special. Make yourself stand out from the crowd. Whatever you have to do to make yourself look special, these are your three years when you have no pressure, nobody telling you what to do. You have a roof on your head. You have the resources of the university. You have the ability to talk to lecturers, students, people, which you will not have access to when you leave. If you don't take advantage now, when you leave, it will be too late. You will be the last person in the queue, looking at the person in the front who took advantage. So the question, ask yourself, what am I doing today to take advantage to make myself unique. I don't care if you make your hair green and you make a website and you say, I am the green finance guy because I like to look at everything that is ecologically friendly in the world and every time you make a YouTube video, you do it and you spray your hair green and you have 500 subscribers. Wonderful. Why? When you come to me in the interview and you say, ah, Hey, Mr. G nice Guy in the Bank, give me a job. Please, give me a job. I'll be like, so, tell me, what did you do? I went to university. Blah, blah, blah. I did a degree. Blah, blah, blah. I got a good degree. I have this many CDs. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, tell me what you do. What about you? Ah, I play football. Blah, blah. How is that going to help me in my job? I sit at the desk. I'm stressed, man. I'm pulling out my hair. I got to do two reports. My boss is on my back, slapping me. Rakesh, come on, we need to have results. Come on, we need to sell this. Come on, we need to do the spreadsheet. Come on, you need to call the supplier. I got 20 jobs. I need somebody to help me. I need somebody with skills who I know I can hire to get the job done. Which things did you tell me here that helped me? I don't care about you, I only care about my life, that's the truth. I'm hiring you, but I need to know you've got the skills, you can get the job done. 
So I need examples. I need you to stand here and say, hey Rakesh, I built four websites, three of them failed, one of them succeeded. Let me show you all four websites. Here are four pieces of paper, here are four websites. Here is a reference from the guy that I worked with at university who told me to do a project for free and I built this because I'm a computer programmer. They are very skilled in cooking the test while uh, sitting here in the <laughs> uh, back, best chill. The best skill. Can help in the bank. Can help. If you are good at copywriting and copying things, maybe you say you can copy and translate something. So I'll ask you the question again. What can you tell me that demonstrates your advantage to me in the job interview? Because that's what you can, you will spend four years, but what is the final sweet thing you put in my mouth? Okay, you can tell me something interesting. You can say something very interesting. You can say, look, I read the Financial Times every day for four years. Please ask me about any event that happened in the last three years and I will tell you about it. I'll be like, woohoo, woohoo. Now I have a bright one. Now I have an interesting one. He even challenged me. Okay, we have a chat. Interest. Then I'll ask him, okay, you want to be in finance? You want to make millions? You want to trade? Let's talk about it. How I know this question? Because that's the question the guy who interviewed me, that's what he asked me. I got the same talk I give you from somebody else. So when I went for my job, I was prepared. I was trading the markets a long time before I went to the university. I was acting in the shoes of the person I want to be. So maybe you had a very nice talk from me on the slides, but this is a talk for you and your life. If you walk in the shoes of the person you want to be, everybody will see it, they will taste it, they will smell it, they will recognize it. And that is the most important lesson you have in life. Don't go to the interview as a student. Hey, you take your backpack off with the holes in it from the university. You get out the old 20-year laptop. The guy will say, no, 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 no. Go back in to university for another three years because you became educated, but you didn't become a business or savvy. There's a difference between being highly educated and highly trained. The people who get the jobs are highly trained in getting the job done. So whatever you want to do, whether you want to become an expert on 100 books, whether you want to become a programmer, whether you want to become an expert marketeer, whether you want to become really good at speaking, and you say, look, I don't have a lot of skills because frankly I'm a ship programmer, I tell you the truth, I'm terrible at uh, doing exams, I got a bad degree, but what I can do is I can talk well. You tell me about any product, I will go and tell the person about your product, and he will love the product and he will love me, and so he will buy. Okay, it's a strange skill, but I know where I can use that guy. And that is the true lesson you learn in life. But, very important, for Emilio, to get in the stack of papers in the beginning, you need to have an excellent result at university. Not good, not average, excellent. Why? Because when you leave, you want to have an excellent job, <coughs> not an average job. If you said, okay, I pay you 40,000 euros. No, give 50,000 euros tomorrow. I give you a job in London, guaranteed. What is the job? You become the manager in my McDonald's where I live in Chelsea. They pay the guy 50,000. It's good money, 50,000. But you're the manager in the, one of the busiest McDonald's in London. I give that job to you tomorrow. Do you want it? Probably not. Because you were built for more than that. So you can have a good job. But if you want an excellent job in the best in the community, I want you to get a first <coughs> in this course, in this degree here. What does that mean? You take the book. Brilliant Myers, Principles in Corporate Finance. You go home tonight, and from memory, you write 1 to 20, and you write all of the names of the chapters in that book, by memory, without looking at it. If you can't do that, you didn't read the book. 
Then you go to chapter 7 or chapter 8, CAPM. You know what the chapter is in your mind? What are the 10 things I need to know about CAPM? And you can just immediately say them. You can say, ah, one of the problems was that in the model there was interest rate risk, and interest rate risk is a problem because when you measure interest rates, every country uses a different model for measuring their interest rates. And there's a second problem because interest rates could be real interest rates, and um, inflation, which is uh, accountable for interest rates, in the UK, we have a basket of commodities. Inside that, they have bread and the interest rates. They shouldn't have bread because we import the bread from France. And you can talk and talk and talk and talk because you know the model. You know what the problems of the model are. You know how to apply the model. Then you can walk confidently. So know every chapter, know it backwards. And how long will it take you? I can probably teach you that whole book in three hours. Because if you can tell the story to someone of the chapter, you know it. So instead of, leave your phone at home one day. I know it's a challenge. I know it's difficult. Leave the phone at home one day and take Brilliant Myers with you. And everywhere you go, when you think of your phone at home, you pick up the book and you memorize one chapter. And I swear, within one day, your phone will be back in your pocket. So you have a lot of motivation. You just need the motivation to get the job done. So what we did today was easy easy learning. You're all smart guys. So don't rely on Emilio to give you the lectures. Take the initiative of learning the entire book by next week and come back and say, Emilio, ask me about a question in any chapter. That's the kind of student that I want to see, that I would employ and pay them a hundred thousand in my bank immediately. And I'll forget about the other students. I'll say, look, that's the person I want. Because he gets the job done, he's smart, he's got initiative. She's great, she could verbalize it. Brilliant, hire her. I don't care about her CV, she's just great. That's the person you want to be. And you will go everywhere in life with that. So, good luck with that and I'll see you next time.